Hey guys, please subscribe my channel. Today my topic is, types of lentil beans. So move toward our today's topic. Types of lentil beans. There are different types of lentil beans. Such as, timber, or wooden lentil bean. Stone lentil bean. Brick lentil bean. Reinforced brick lentil bean. Steel lentil bean. Reinforced concrete lentil bean. Box bean lentils. Rolled steel joint lentil bean. Timber, or wooden lentil bean. Timber lentils were commonly employed in older buildings. But, a number of more contemporary methods, have taken their place. But they are still in use in mountainous places. Timber has a number of drawbacks, like being costlier, less resilient, and fire-prone. If the aperture is longer, it is created by, putting a number of wooden pieces, together with the use of steel bolts. When the walls are wider, it consists of two wooden parts, that are separated by wooden packing pieces. These can occasionally have, mild steel plates known as flitch lintels. Installed at the top, and bottom to reinforce them. Stone lintel bean. These are the most prevalent. Particularly in areas with an abundance of stone. The most crucial aspect of its design. Is its thickness. These are further given to cover brick wall holes. The single piece of stone lintel or many pieces of the stone may be assumed. The minimum depth is 15 cm and the depth is maintained at 10 cm for each meter of span. They may be used for spans up to 2 meters. The weak tensile nature of stone causes fractures to occur in the lintel when the structure is subjected to vibratory stresses. So vigilance is required. Brick lintel bean. When the opening is less than one meter, and there are smaller acting loads. They are employed, depending on the breadth. It has a depth range of 10 to 20 centimeters. Frog enclosed bricks are more suited than regular bricks because they increase the shear resistance of end joints that creates a structure known as a joggled brick lintel. Reinforced brick lintel beam. These are employed when the span is larger than one meter and the weights are heavy. The reinforced brick lintel's depth should be a multiple of 10 cm. The placement of the bricks creates a 2 to 3 cm wide longitudinal space between them. That allowing for the installation of mild steel reinforcing bars to close the gaps. Cement mortar at a 1 ratio 3 is employed. Every third vertical joint has a 6 mm diameter vertical stirrup. Bars with an 8 to 10 mm diameter and crank up ends serve as the main reinforcement, at the bottom. Steel lintel beam. A steel beam, or lintel, supports the masonry, above an entrance, such as a door, or window, by spanning it. These are utilized, when there are huge apertures, and significant superimposed loads, constructed from channel sections, or rolled steel joints. Reinforced concrete lintel beam, due to its strength, rigidity, fire resistance, affordability, and simplicity of construction. Reinforced concrete lintels are often used to bridge apertures in structures for doors, windows, and other similar openings. These are appropriate for any span. And for all loads, the depth is determined by the length of the span and the amount of weight. While the breadth is equal to the wall's width, the major reinforcement is provided at the bottom of these bars which are crank-shaped on half of them. Stirrups, against transverse shear, are supplied. Box beam lintels. Box lintels, are suitable for both interior, and exterior openings, available in a range of wall thicknesses. They have a minimum end bearing of 150 mm, on either side of the opening. Bedded in mortar, the lintel, needs to be level both vertically and horizontally, all perpendicular joints, in masonry construction must be filled with mortar, and put on a mortar bed, to minimize shock loading on them, box lintels should be used with precaution, when combined with concrete floors, or other substantial components, rolled steel joint lintel beam, this lintel beam, is used to support ceilings, and other loads, is known as an rolled steel joint, they can function, as part of the building's skeleton, that offer crucial structural support, for the construction of new buildings. A lintel, or steel beams pad stone, serves as a stable base, or pad, for bifold doors, and lintels. It is advised that a heavy-duty, 
or rolled steel lintel, can be used for bifold doors. If any roof trusses, or floor joists are resting on the lintel, determine their span. If you enjoyed my today's video, then like and share my video, and subscribe my channel. Thanks.